People cannot create Only the story of what is good All oh, the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace Hi, it's Christina Picus. I'm here with another G Street fabric haul. My uh, mother-in-law graciously took care of my kids for a little bit and I ran over to, masked up and ran over to G Street this morning and dug around in their 297 room. Um, what I went for, <laughs> they, I didn't get, but I did get some other, a lot of other stuff that is uh, gonna be a lot of fun to make stuff with. They have a sale going on this weekend and so it's, um, a set amount off, you know, you spend 20, you get so many off, you spend 50, you get so much off and you spend a hundred dollars, you get so much off and then 25% off of all the regular fabrics. So, um, let's get started. First, uh, I got a charcoal ITY. Um, there's only a little bit more than a yard available. So that's probably just going to be like a classic tee. And then I got this um, beautiful red, white and blue <laughs> with a black background ITY and I got two yards of that. I got a border print black with red leaves. So the leaves are more um, dense toward one side and they're more sparse on the other kind of like a burgundy leaf um, actually they could kind of go together the, those last two I also got two yards of that um, I'm not really buying a, I have some ITY already for to make a dress with and um, I really need more for shirts this shirt I'm wearing as a matter of fact is um, a love notions Rhapsody made um, with ITY from um, G Street I guess a couple years ago and um, is I still don't have the fit perfect on it. Like I feel like the um, arm size are too small, but um, but it's still like really comfortable. It's really nice. Okay, so um, this is a really thin. I think it's like a swim lining. Super stretchy, super thin. I want to say trico kind of knit, but I don't know if trico is stretchy. This is very stretchy. Um, I'm just gonna set that aside and um, keep it for lining any swimwear or things like that. And then I got three things that are all very similar. I got the, I saw the first one. And so then I found two more colors. These are, <laughs> um, it's like a double knit and it's, it's kind of like a shiny and it's stretchy and it's somewhat thick. Um, it's kind of like an athletic thing. So I'm gonna make a um, half zip um, jacket and, and I've got green for my boy. I've got um, boy girl twins. I've got green for my boy. I've got pink for my girl. Yeah, they're pretty typical that way. And um, black for myself. Um, I got three yards for myself, which is more than I need. So, I mean, it might be another, another a little bit extra for something else as well. And then I got this um, kind of dove gray uh, twill. And let's see. Yeah, it's hard to tell what you can see there. Um, yeah, so I wasn't sure. It, it felt like it had a little sheen to it, and I was like, oh, maybe it's a poly cotton blend. But I um, I didn't set this one on fire. <laughs> but but I did put it in the wash, and it definitely it feels like cotton. No stretch. Um, it's a decent weight. And I got uh, three yards of that. So um, I'd like, you know, I really like the um, Dawn jeans from Megan Nielsen. Um, but I don't know if I'd want the jean... Um, back. Um, otherwise, maybe like the wide leg pant from Peppermint, um, you know, for, for spring. Um, or somehow mash the two. I also got, so I got this black um, thin ribbed um, sweater knit. I know this isn't going to come up well on the thing. It's very stretchy, a um, little bit sheer, but um, it's really nice. I, uh, I'm testing a pattern that I think this will look lovely for. And with pattern test, it's not good to do solid black because I can't really see what's going on. But uh, maybe for the like final pictures or after it releases. Um, 
And then I also got, and this hasn't been, this part hasn't been washed yet. I washed some of the other stuff already. This is a, um, an olive, uh, twill, but it's like super stretchy. I mean, maybe, like, well, at least 20, 25, 30% stretch longitudinally. And then like nothing crosswise. So I don't know with that if you would end up, I mean, do you just cut your pants going the other way? How does that work? Um, I got enough for pants for that too. And then some things I got just a little bit of because that's what they had. So this is, um, it's like a navy with a white stripe, but the, the stripe is kind of, it almost looks like a cover stitch um, going through it. And um, so it's on both sides. Actually, I think it looks better on this side, come to think of it. Very stretchy. Um, yeah, so, but I only got a yard, so maybe another classic tee, or if there's like a dolman pattern or something that's pretty straightforward, you know, something that doesn't take too much. And then this is um, like a rayon, is it poplin or something? Um, it's rayon, and I think I'm gonna make a, it's gonna be a dress. Um, don't pay attention to the, the black. It's not a pick or anything. It's from a, another fabric. And um, I'm going to um, probably make a dress out of that. But something more casual. I don't know. Got some navy twill. It's very much like the um, like that dove gray. I wish I could have gotten more. I got all I had of it. And I didn't see any other colors of, of the twill. Um, I'd like to make myself some more khakis, um, but so this is probably only enough for shorts. It's like one and three eighths, I think. They're really generous there. They, they'll cut off, if there's a spot, you know, they give you that piece and then start counting after it. And then I got some black corduroy. Let's see, not that exciting. Navy um, rib knit. I'm gonna make a broken ridge with that. Oh, the black corduroy, I'm probably, I'm definitely, I can't really make pants because the whole, like, don't want to set a fire down there um, kind of issue. Um, and I'm not really a jumper kind of person, so it's probably, they're going to be like a long skirt. Maybe the Florence from Sinclair or um, something similar. Maybe it's going to um, be the Breckenridge. And this green double knit um, kind of ponte um, double knit pattern is going to be JJ Sinclair Joggers. Sinclair JJ Joggers. I know that's a weird choice, but I'll try. Oh, and then I got some more mesh. This isn't super, this isn't like a power knit or even a power mesh, it's it's just a very light mesh, but it's still, if you're making um, a little black bra from Georgian Gender and you just need something between the layers, um, even that is good, um, or it can be used for blocking into things. Or there's a new underwear pattern where they're showing that. This may be the last thing, I think it is, yes, this is the last thing. So it's kind of a minky, fluffy thing. And I don't even know how much I have. I think it's about, I think they charged me for a yard and a half because there was tape on it. Um, but hopefully I could cut around that and get enough for a robe for a kid or um, another jacket or something else. So anyway, I had fun. Um, wasn't quite as crowded today, um, but they also didn't have, they had a ton of stuff that was like raincoat type of material, like out, like really nice, like coated on the inside, nice on the outside, probably breathable raincoat material. They had tons of that and they had tons of like lining material. It's just not something I'm going to do. Um, and they had a couple of uh, panels of swim that were just gorgeous, but I don't need that right now. So anyway, I had a good time and I got all the neat stuff and you'll see if you follow me at various places, you'll get to see some finished stuff. Talk to you later. Evil can not create. All in store, what is good? All oh, the world be great. Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear.
Yeah, still your peace.